Miranda. I compiled a bunch of phone numbers and information for you for social services, child support, um, stuff about divorce in here. I know you already have child services on, on speed dial, but I have another number here. I have a bunch of caseworkers. Um, there's just a lot of information there about how you go about getting child support out of him, doing the visitation rights things. It's all there. Ryan, thanks for doing that. But I remember telling you that I wanted to just sit down with Joey, discuss how we were going to move forward with visitation rights, child support, and all of that without having to go through the court system and stuff. I don't want to do that. I know you said that, Miranda, but you sit down with this man. He's not going to respect you. He's not going to stick to visitation rights schedules that you set up. He's not going to pay you money every weekend for child support. You need to go through this the legal way. Maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong, but I know one thing's for sure, and it's that I don't like being told what to do. I don't like when people are pushy with me. I'm not telling you what to do. I would never tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what the right thing to do is and how this is going to go about. Okay, I, I can just tell from how he spoke to me. Don't tell me that you can tell with Joey. Or what, I've been with him for over six years. Don't tell me that you, you can tell Joey better than me. The man walked out on you without any explanation. He cheated on you. He and I'm not stupid. I know, I'm well aware of everything he's done to me. I'm well aware, I don't need it reminded. I don't need you to read a list off to me. All right, well, if you're aware of it, Miranda, then why do you still have this hope that you both can sit down and, and hash things out? And because that's a, a viable first option. I don't have time to be going to the courts and filing paper, and I don't want to do that. I just don't. It's my own personal preference. I've dealt with enough people with clipboards and papers, and I don't want that in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, okay? I, I have a good job. I love my son. Things may be hard sometimes, but I'm good, and I don't want to mess it up with... Are you, like, coming from a place of, like, genuinely caring, or are you just afraid that I'm going to sit down with Joey, have a meeting, and we're going to get back together? Is that what you're afraid of? Of course I'm afraid. You think it's, it makes me less of a man to admit that, or I'm trying to hide that from you? I don't want you to get back with him. Okay? I can admit that, but this is, that's not what this is about. This is about making your life a little bit easier so you don't have to go on a handshake deal with this man because I can just tell that you, you can't make a handshake deal with him. You have to go through the legal way about going through all this stuff. Again, Brian, you're being pushy, and I close off when people are pushy with me. I'm being pushy. Because I see how stressed you are with Junior to begin with. I see how you're holding everything on together by a thread, you're, but you're, you're getting it done. You're doing it all by yourself. I don't want this man coming into your life and ruining it for you. Don't forget, I'm still driving you to work, not holding it over you. But a couple weeks ago, that was a big problem for you. You didn't even have a car. You were staying with your, go your son's godmother. Your life was in shambles, and now you got things together. Do you really want this man walking in and ruining everything for you? Believe me, Brian, I am not letting anyone ruin my life. I'm not scared of him, and that's the reason I want to sit down with him. I don't want to run from the dragon. I want to sit down with him and face him and tell him how it's going to be, or, or else, then yeah, then we'll go through the courts. But I want to first show him that I'm not afraid of his stupid ass. I'm trying to understand why you're so frustrated when it doesn't have to be like that. I'm not even super stressed about things right now. I don't know why you're so worked up. Like, I've never seen you like this, and it's not fun. I was having a good time with you. We were laughing. We were having a good time. I don't want it to be like this. People are tired of seeing you suffer. I'm tired of seeing you suffer. But if you're just gonna let this man hold a spell over you, I don't know. Just take the information. I didn't mean to be pushy.